What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of BS for Build. In today's episode, we're gonna do some fun stuff, fun new stuff. We're gonna try media blasting for the first time. I'm gonna go buy some media and we're gonna blast it at the 240Z shell and hopefully all that bad paint will just fly right off and we'll be left with some pristine clean metal. I don't think it actually works that easily, but if it does, I'll be super happy. Other than that, we're gonna to attempt to take the body and bring it into the shop and then weld it onto the chassis. Lots of stuff today, stay tuned. Like I said, we need media to blast at the thing and our media choice for the day is going to be walnuts. Don't ask me, I just, I don't get it. I just read some online, they said walnuts, so I'm gonna buy like a couple hundred pounds of walnuts that we could shoot at the 240. I really like running errands in the Z, but we don't really have enough space. <laughs> All right, we've got 100 pounds of walnuts. We've got 50 pounds of glass as a backup. We've got a little gun to try and shoot it out of. I don't know if we're gonna have enough air pressure at the shop, but we will give it our best. Let's head to the shop and see what happens. All right, back at the shop. It's time to start getting this thing prepared for media blasting. So that means we gotta take any glass out, which uh, we're lucky, not too much. Take those out of both sides. Take the taillights out of both sides. Take the emblems off here, and I'll be ready to go ahead and try blasting. We are ready to start media blasting. So we got our bucket and our hose, and it runs to this gun right here, it blasts stuff. And um, it's is not really coming, it's not really taking off the clear coat very fast, but I'm still wanting to use it for any of these spots where there's rust or along all the railings and all this other stuff. So we've got the car ready, there's no glass in it, there's no tail lights, there's no other lights. Um, we're not gonna do the whole body, but I am gonna hit all the hard to reach surfaces where I don't wanna be sanding. Anything with like rust or starting to appear anywhere around there, all that stuff I'm gonna try and go through and blast to prep up. So we're gonna half, we're gonna kinda halfway blast it. But moving on inside, Eric's here. And the game plan here was definitely to finish up the frame rails and then move the car in and put it on, but I messed up, it's my bad. I didn't realize that we had ran out of gas. So tomorrow I'll get more gas and we'll jump back on that. But until then, Eric can still use the TIG welder, which has plenty of gas over there. So Eric's gonna start on finishing up uh, the cosmetic side of these strut towers. And then we'll go ahead and drill the holes and actually mount our rear suspension, our rear struts. All right, I'm done with the media blasting. That stuff is nasty, man. It, it gets a absolutely everywhere like you would expect. And it doesn't really take off much more paint than sanding. It's obviously a little bit faster than sanding, but I don't, I don't really think it was worth it in the long run. But I'm glad we tried it out. So you can see we got all the like, surface rust off from the store jam area coming around here. We definitely uh, cleaned up these rails a lot. Found a, a rusty spot right here that we're gonna need to do some work on. Um, and then coming back here, we actually uncovered that the paint underneath this teal color is brown. So that's, that's interesting because it kind of camouflages rust or makes you a lot more worried than you need to be. But yeah, it's actually just brown paint underneath that primer. Um, around here, the two rust spots that we already knew about in the rear. And then we cleaned up all these railings around here. And then same thing goes for the railings down here. So it's pretty successful in the end, but I don't really think it's worth the money. I would have rather spent that money on a bunch of good sandpaper, considering we're gonna have to sand the rest of this body here too. Let's go see how Eric's doing. Eric just got done working on this strut tower over here and basically the goal is to make it, you know, nice and smooth and presentable. And, uh, well, here's what they originally look like. So you can see kind of how they have like space in them. It makes it all one clean, nice piece, which is awesome. So Eric just finished up that one. He's gonna jump over and work on that one. While he's doing that, uh, I'm gonna go over here. We got this thing in the mail recently. 
Um, and this is part of our driveline magic. It's uh, meant to bolt up to this piece right here and allow us to build our custom driveline. And I need to test fit it and make sure it actually fits on the car before I give this to the driveline shop. Um, so he'll, you know, make the rest of it. So I'll test fit this and Eric's gonna go ahead and do that second one. All right, so you guys probably saw me test fit. I don't have the proper bolts, so those are in my car. You saw me test fit this thing here, but it does actually line up 100% perfectly with this car, which is fantastic. So there's no more real big question marks about um, how we're gonna do the drive shaft. This was the big piece that we needed. So we found it, and that's awesome. I gotta take that and our old drive shaft down to the drive shaft uh, shop once we have our proper measurement, and uh, the guy down there will build me my custom drive shaft. Moving on, we're gonna come back here. So Eric, uh, you just saw Eric clean up um, this strut tower as well. It looks really great. Um, and then uh, now we're gonna go ahead and cut the holes so we can um, install the, temporarily install the suspension. So this suspension isn't the one we're gonna use in the long run because we have the airbag suspension at my house, but uh, we wanna get it all installed and, and fitting right before we move on to the airbag. So, um, it bolts in down here and then the the top hat goes through here and then there's three bolts here So that's what we're gonna be cutting out of here drilling out of here When you need to drill out bolt holes in a very specific pattern like we do you could do like a lot of math and measuring and stuff like that Or you can just take the easy way out and use a template like what we did. So we just grab some cardboard hole saw around here, lay it over, punch all those holes. We'll draw an X in this to find our center and then we'll transfer that template over to here, drill them out, we should be good to go. Success! We got our first suspension component on. This is a oddly rewarding feeling milestone. So uh, obviously we just drilled some holes in the top of this thing. Big hole drill here, a couple holes here. Fed that through, bolted that back on. So uh, we know the stock M5 uh, suspension will fit and then when we come in uh, with the airbag suspension after this, well, we know it should fit. It looks really good. I'm really, really happy with how that turned out. So now we're gonna come over to the other side, do the same thing over here, get that other one on there. There we go, we got our second strut installed. It looks fantastic. I'm really, I'm really jazzed on that. They came out looking really good. This is, it's a step closer towards looking like a car, which gets me really, really excited. So Eric and I talked about what we're gonna do tomorrow and other than me getting gas so we can absolutely get to work, um, I'm gonna be cutting on this guy and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut like I said, the lower part of that off. And then we were taking a look at the cowl and how this cowl sits here and what it's gonna do. Now the cowl is pretty importantly the furthest point back in our hood, like our, our under the hood area. So when we pop the hood of this car, like we're at a car show, it's gonna be engine, 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 and it stops at the cowl. So we'll get a nice piece of rubber trim for this so it looks good. We'll build a mounting point for it and everything like that. And this is our clean piece underneath it. Chris is getting to cutting. Oh, it's stuck. Underneath the cowl, it's just gonna be slice and dice. We're gonna come, come back to here, and we're gonna go ahead and cut right through here. I'll make a nice line, and we'll cut through here, come out, and then obviously we need to leave all this stuff. We'll come down where this pinch weld is right here. So that's the game plan for that, and I'll go ahead and do that uh, tomorrow while Eric's at his day job, and then when he gets here, we can bring that into the shop and weld it onto the frame. All right, back home. 
it has to be my house because it's the only house in the neighborhood with a wall that ugly. We skipped trivia today to do work and then I didn't have gas in the bottle. What a fail. I apologize about that guys. Um, I, you know, I apologize about the clickbait title as well. Got to do what you got to do in these times. It's hard out there for a creator. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today. I appreciate the hell out of all you guys. Please come back tomorrow and see us get that car on that frame. All right, see you then. Peace. Come, come, come on.